வெல்கம் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டைம்ஸ் ஸ்ரீ அசோஸ் In the last video, we saw about my mother's special medicine for piles. For those who are watching us for the first time, please go back and watch the previous four videos and then get back here. According to our Siddhas and human energy, science and medicine, the cost behind nine types of piles is the food we eat and our emotions. Now, how do those affect our body? Cause of bad food habits and not having an emotional stable condition creates diseases. And that is the main reason behind any kinds of disease in the body. Now, if you do not believe in my statement, inquire it with all of your patients. Disease due to improper food intake could be easily identified. piles are also developed due to emotions like anxiety depression and anger in a person's mind and this could be found true with 100% of the patients improper food habits and negative emotions tends to create excess of heat in the anal region thereby ending up in piles or other related diseases there are two types of heat in a human's body healing or otherwise called the good heat and then unhealthy or otherwise called the bad heat for a better understanding of the healthy and unhealthy heat let me give you an example let's take a seed of any plant and let us dry it in the sun at around 30 degrees centigrade let's say for 10 days in a row and then when you plant the seed it produces a healthy plant now if the same seed is taken and is instead of using the sun we dry it near the fire at the same 30 degrees centigrade and if we plant that seed the seed wouldn't even germinate into a plant but according to science both the circumstances has the same 30 degrees heat the main difference here is that the heat from the sun is healing heat whereas the heat from the fire is unhealthy as it ends up destroying the seeds nature to germinate the healing heat from the sun gives us vitamin d and regulates our immune system which in turn provides us with a good health so those two types of heat that are present in our nature is also present inside our body numerous siddhas and mahans who have attained immortality or ultra luminosity like valalar maha maharishi and baba ji how postulated about these heats in our body there are a few habits like unhealthy eating and negative emotions which increases the unhealthy heat in our body but at the same time practicing yoga and pranayama has found to increase the healing heat of our body there are no equipment or instruments to discover about a lot of what is happening in a human body these are things that could only be felt by human for instance mind soul atma conscious and conscience these are the things that could not be determined using an instrument but at the same time nobody can object that these do not exist healing heat is one among them now getting back to our topic diseases are developed when unhealthy heat affects an organ diseases are classified according to the organs the unhealthy heat affects for example when unhealthy heat affects pancreas and the liver it ends up creating diabetes when a specific group of cells are affected it causes insulin resistance when only the liver gets affected it generates hepatitis when it affects the uterus it causes leukorrhea when the head gets affected it causes sinus problems and migraine 
so people like tiruvalluvar and poyamuli pulavar have called this unhealthy heat as the cause of all diseases there is something called the internal climate in our body and this cannot be measured by using a thermometer but however we could feel this when a person feels irritation while urinating or while passing motion or irritation in his eye they indicate changes in his internal climate and this could not be measured by a thermometer this internal climate is managed by three main components in our body called vada pittam and kabam and changes in these three are the foundation of all kinds of diseases vada means variation of air or dampness in our body pittam means change in the internal heat of our body and finally kaba is the accumulation of mucus or sputum in our body this creates chillness again change in an internal climate of our body i'll tell it to you again vada is dampness pittam is heat and kaba is chillness these three are the basic causes of any kinds of diseases in a human body as mentioned by numerous siddhas and thiruvalluvar now back to piles piles is formed due to the changes of heat and dampness in the internal climate thereby pittam and vada creates it so when pittam and vada affects the anus let's see what happens first off they dehydrate the large intestine and creating constipation next the muscles present there expands and they start accumulating blood which causes bleeding third it creates irritation at the anus region and also ends up creating pain and inflammation in the next video let's see in detail about the drawbacks in the formula for medicine created by my mother for piles how these drawbacks were formed and how to avoid these mistakes jai hind